Hey everyone, Greg here, and today we're going to talk about your eyes. Like most things we take for granted, vision is another one of those health components that often gets overlooked. But that's dumb. Think for a second how much you use your eyes every single day. You are using them right now. You've literally been using them for every single second since you woke up this morning, and you'll probably be using them for every essential task you perform until you fall asleep. Now, this may sound obvious, but that's the point. What's less obvious is why we choose not to take care of them by going to get a regular, comprehensive eye exam from an eye care professional. So today, we're gonna to talk about some basic steps that you can take to take care of your eyes to maintain healthy vision for years to come. Now, first things first. Go to the eye doctor. Go to the eye doctor. Go to the eye doctor! Go to the doctor. Now here at iNetra, we specialize in making portable refractive equipment for eye care professionals. Go to the doctor. However, refraction is only one component of healthy vision. Go to the doctor. Having a yearly comprehensive eye exam from an eye care professional is the best way to keep your eyes happy and healthy. Not only can an eye doctor improve your vision with the addition of corrective lenses, but she can also screen for more potentially serious eye health conditions, which may otherwise go undetected. Let's understand a little bit about how our eyes work. Warning! Science content! When you look at an object, like this plant, for example, or a tomato, or a handheld floor object. Gosh, who made this? This is really neat. Feel how light this is. Light bounces off the object passes through the cornea and the lens of the eye, which both help to focus the light onto the retina on the back of the eye. Now from there, it is translated into electrochemical signals which travel through the optic nerve and into the brain, which is where we translate that image into boom, visual perception. Essentially, that's how we see. However, certain eye conditions or diseases may potentially inhibit this seemingly magical process and could potentially lead to vision loss. So again, go to the eye doctor. Go to the eye doctor. Go to the eye doctor. Make sure you go to the eye doctor. Luckily, however, many of these ailments have a simple fix. Take for example, refractive error. If a patient has refractive error, AKA they need glasses or contact lenses, sometimes it's necessary to add or subtract a little focusing power from the eyes in order to see a clear image of the tomato. Now, in general, it takes more focusing power from the muscles of the eyes to focus on an object that is up close than it does to focus on an object in the distance. In other words, your eyes have to work harder to focus on things in the near than in the far. Let's do a quick experiment. Careful, science. Focus on an object at least 20 feet away for a few seconds, and then quickly focus on your hand. You can almost feel the muscles in your eyes working harder to focus. Cool, right? Back to the eye doctor. When you first go to the eye doctor, she will likely begin by asking you a series of questions about your and your family's health history to get a better understanding of which tests and treatments, if any, would be beneficial. Now, one of the first tests the eye doctor may perform is something called a visual acuity test. This is the test where you look at an eye chart and you see what's the lowest line you can read. Something that looks like this or like this. This test helps to determine what your habitual vision is like. The results of the visual acuity test are usually noted as 2020, 2030, 2040, etc. But what the heck do those numbers mean? Basically, 2020, generally considered to be good vision, just means that what a normal person can read from standing 20 feet away, you can also read from standing 20 feet away. 2030, on the other hand, or slightly worse, means that you would have to stand 20 feet away what a normal person could read from 30 feet away, etc., etc., etc. Now, if the doctor determines from the visual acuity test and the initial refractive assessment that you could benefit from corrective lenses, such as eyeglasses or contact lenses, you may hear her say some kind of confusing words like myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism. What's that? Presbyopia. <coughs> Relax, don't panic. These are all very common refractive errors that can all be corrected with either eyeglasses, contact lenses, or routine surgery. So let's break down these terms a little bit and demystify them, shall we? Myopia, or nearsightedness, just means that your eyes have difficulty focusing on objects that are far away. In this case, the eyes are naturally too strong and can only focus on objects that are up close. And the eyeglass prescription for this vision will always contain a minus sign because the eye's power needs to be lessened for us to focus on objects that are far away. Farsightedness, or hyperopia, is just the opposite. If you are hyperopic, you have trouble seeing things up close. 
If farsighted, the eyes are naturally underpowered, which means they have to work overtime in order to focus. In this case, the prescription for this vision would likely have a plus sign because we need to add power to the eyes in order for them to focus on objects up close. Astigmatism? What's that? Astigmatism? No! Relax. Astigmatism is just a funny sounding word for an uneven curvature of the cornea, which is the outermost layer of the eyeball. Now, an uneven curvature of the cornea can also cause refractive error. If this is the case, your eyeglasses prescription will contain a cylinder and an axis value. Put simply, the cylinder value can help correct that uneven curvature for a more focused image. Presbyopia? What? Presbyopia is just another scary sounding word which basically just means you need reading glasses. The lens of the eye, just like any other body part, begins to stiffen and start to become less flexible with age. This means that we usually require some additional focusing help when we're looking at objects up close. Now for most people, presbyopia starts to set in from anywhere from about 35 to 45 years old, roughly, so, you know, you have that to look forward to. But again, very treatable. These basic refractive errors can almost always be corrected with either eyeglasses, contact lenses, or routine surgery. But wait, what about the rest of the eye exam? Good question. In a comprehensive eye exam, the doctor will perform a series of additional tests to check out the overall health and physiology of your eyes. Now, some of these conditions could potentially be very serious, which is why it is important to go and get your yearly comprehensive eye exam from an eye care professional to stop any of these potentially serious symptoms before they become a problem. Go to the doctor. Now, here's a summary of some of the most common eye diseases whose symptoms you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for. No pun intended. Cataracts. Cataracts are a clouding of the lens of the eye, which can lead to a gradual increase in blurry vision. Most cataracts occur gradually with age and don't really become bothersome until after age 55 or so. However, if your vision starts to get blurry or it seems like you're looking through a piece of glass, for example, you may be developing a cataract, in which case you should go to the eye doctor right away. Most cataracts can be treated with routine surgery. Glaucoma refers to a category of eye disorders often associated with a dangerous buildup of internal eye pressure, which, if left untreated, can damage the eye's optic nerve, which, if you remember, is the structure that transmits the visual information between the eyes and the brain. While glaucoma symptoms do vary, the two main symptoms include getting tunnel vision and slowly losing your peripheral vision. If uncontrolled or left untreated, glaucoma could eventually lead to blindness. So if you do notice any of these symptoms, get yourself to the eye doctor right away. Diabetic retinopathy. Now, if you have diabetes, you probably already know that your body has trouble regulating your blood sugar levels. If your blood sugar gets too high, it can damage the blood vessels in your eyes, which can ultimately damage the retina, and if left untreated, could ultimately lead to blindness which is why a yearly comprehensive eye exam from an eye care professional is especially important if you're diabetic. Macular degeneration. Another one of the most common eye diseases that an eye doctor will look for during your annual comprehensive eye exam. Macular degeneration is an age-related condition in which the most sensitive part of the retina, called the macula, starts to lose its ability to create clear visual images. Early symptoms include seeing shadowy areas in your central vision or experiencing unusually fuzzy or distorted vision. A retinal examination from an eye care professional usually can detect early signs of macular degeneration before these symptoms occur. And something slightly less serious, but much more common today, is a condition known as digital fatigue. Like most people today, we spend an awful lot of time staring at screens. Like now, for instance. Just like any muscle in the body, the eye muscles can get tired. Sitting in front of a smartphone or a computer, under fluorescent lights, or in front of a TV for several hours can produce this condition known as digital fatigue. Symptoms include eye strain, blurred vision, neck and back and shoulder pain. Now an eye doctor can talk to you about how to lessen digital fatigue during your comprehensive eye exam. But one quick trick is known as the 20 20 20 rule. Every 20 minutes, focus on an object at least 20 feet away for approximately 20 seconds. This gives the eyes a break from focusing on objects up close and thus can help relax the eyes and help reduce eye strain. And our last tip, sunglasses. Sunglasses, while also being a great fashion accessory, can actually do a lot to help protect your eyes from dangerous UV rays. When purchasing sunglasses, look for ones that block out 99 to 100% of both UVA and UVB radiation. 
That's it for today, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and click below and give us a massive like, and you can go ahead and click subscribe if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. But before you do, make sure if you have not yet been to the eye doctor this year, go to the doctor. Go and make an appointment right now. So from all of us here at iNetra, thanks for watching today, and go to the doctor.